Hello everyone. Today I just want to um, show you something. Now, last my last video I made a, a book. It was made out of like um, packaging or chipboard and laces and fabric. And I mentioned in that book when I was, you know, regarding the binding that it would be a great way to make your first lace kind of book where you've got a nice stable kind of um, base to work on. And the binding method was very, very easy. In those, um, one of the, one of, a lady asked me if it would be suitable for a normal kind of fabric lace book, and I, I presumed it would be. Um, but you know, you never know until you try things yourself, do you? So I've tried it. I've got. I'm starting a new book here, a different kind of book, and I thought, well, I'll try that kind of binding for a fabric book. As you can see, it's all soft, and see how it goes. Now there were a few, couple of points that I'd like to point out for those that who may be interested to find out whether it does work. Um, now this is going to be a different type of style book like I said the fabric I've used on the front here is like a um, oh, tapestry type of you know furnishing fabric and that was from VAR. Thank you VAR. Uh, in fact all these fabrics in here were from VAR. <laughs> Thank you VAR finally using them. Um, inside I've used velvet which are quite a you know thick fabric and um, I've used the same method you know it's just that page is one piece of fabric folded in half and I've threaded ribbon through it now I haven't left tassely ribbons on this one because that's not the the look I'm going for with this one but as you can see it has certain it has more holes um, you need to have, like I have a hole here, a hole here, a hole here and a hole here. So I have four holes. The more holes you have, obviously, the stronger that page is going to be. Four hole, holes with this particular fabric works wonderfully well. If you were just to thread it through, you would end up with a big gap. And that's not what we're going for. Um, this is a great way for those people that don't have a sewing machine or don't want to do any hand stitching. Um, you know, they can just thread the ribbon through. In effect, it is sewing. It's just very big sewing. You know, you're going in and out. Just um, You're taking it when this page was open you're taking it in through here coming back out going through and you're looping it around and then bringing it through again and then I tied them together inside the page here and as you can see it works it works perfectly I have a gully in each of these pages here so I can embellish my pages um, just a bit I don't want it too big that's just the selvage on the um, velvet which I wasn't worried about because I'll be embellishing that anyway inside of these pages I have a little very thin piece of wadding um, I've actually just what did I do I just actually um, I just put a little bit of tacky glue down to hold them into place because I am going to sew mine so I'll just undo it here so I can show you how I've done that. And that's easy enough just to stick back together. And see how I've tied that inside there um, instead of on the outside of the spine. But you can quite easily tie that on the outside as well. I have a very, very thin piece of wadding inside. Mainly because, you know, velvet is a thick fabric anyway and the the pages were a nice nice kind of side so yes in effect it does work it does work well that binding method you just need to have more stitch holes um, simply because it's not paper and it it has a different kind of um you know it it's going to gape if you don't have more stitches if you're a sewer what i would recommend is you just sew that if you want to just sew it straight down there then fold it over and stitch it together um, and you've got a, a really easy way to make a nice little book so that's that one now through the week my son was asking me about books and do you remember the old method we used to use um, at school well I used to teach this to my 
older children when they were in high school for their projects and things like that. Just making a quick little booklet um, out of a piece of A4 paper. And I was teaching it to him and I thought, oh my goodness, I wonder if we can do that for a fabric book as well. You know, just for a nice flat style fabric book. And then I remembered quite some time ago now, uh, Lilla, who is Lilla Levine, she had like a, um, a red book, I can't remember what it was called, the video is no longer up, um, and she did her, her book in a way, and I didn't understand it at the time, and now it's not there, I can't double check, but I'm, I'm almost certain it could have been in this format using fabric, so I thought, well, let me give it a try. And so what I did, this is just a tapestry piece. This is obviously a long, thin one. See, it's got pages and it goes like that. Um, and all I did was the same method. It's not sewn yet as with the paper. I just did exactly the same method um, and it worked wonderfully well. So you just basically pull it out, fold it over and there you have your pages. Um, but it's much easier to show you that on the paper and then of course you glue them together or you um, sew them up. You can insert like, this is thick fabric, you may not need it, but on a thinner fabric you would insert a little bit of felt or maybe a bit of boarding in each page and I think she calls these you know they're like a little pamphlet book they're not meant to be over embellished they're meant to be nice and flat and so basically all you do for those that didn't do these when they were younger or haven't um, had their children do them is you have a piece of A4 paper you fold it in half and you fold it in half again to get your crease lines once you've done that you open it up and you fold it lengthwise to get your crease line. Open it up again and fold it in half that way and then you get your scissors and you cut from the folded side through to the halfway mark. That's all you do. Then you open it up again, fold it lengthways and you know you you pull those out like that and as you can see you end up with a cross and then you fold it and you have a little book and you do exactly the same thing with your fabric and it works it really works especially I, I mean you can't over embellish that style book of course because there's just not enough room and here's another one this is the same thing I just need to either stitch it or, or glue it all down together um, how simple is that? So those ladies who like to glue, especially those ladies who like to glue their um, fabric books, this is a way to do it and your pages aren't going to fall out or anything like that because it's just one piece of fabric and you just, you know, that's, that's the size an A4 sheet would make. So if you make one double the size, well, that's pretty much maybe off a bit but that's you know that's probably up there a double A4 size and that's a really nice size piece of um, you know little book and you can use your lovely laces and everything like that and like I said you can put a little bit of felt or a little bit of that thin wadding inside before you stitch it or glue it and um, yeah, so this may have been the method she used. I'm not 100% sure because the video is no longer there for me to check. Um, the, yeah, the simple school method. How's that? I'm really quite happy I sort of, you know, stumbled on that. It may be on YouTube already for a fabric book. I really don't know because I haven't even sort of looked about it. So there we go. Another two methods that you can use to make your fabric books. Of course, this can be used with thin fabric as well you just um, do whatever you want to do so I hope you find this useful there is another little method too 
but um, I think that's too many pages. Like one, that's a cover. There's one page, two page, three page. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's a totally different method, and I think that maybe it would work, but you would have to have some sort of a, you know, um, outer binding for that one. I think because just the way it's done, whereas this one is very very simple and I guess I better show you but I'm not going into a lot of detail because I'm not sure how successful that would be and that's this one here it's just another A4 sheet of paper okay like that once again folding it in half and in half again but instead of just folding it in half one way you open it up and you fold it in half and then in half again and then you open it up and you cut three of the squares that way three of the squares that way and three of the squares the opposite way again and then you just start folding it and once you get to the corner like that you fold it down and then you go back the other way like that and then you fold it down and you go back that way it's just concertining in it really and then down and then that way like that and I think most of us would have done these things or done them with our children at some stage and it's just nice to know that it can also work for um, a nice flat styled fabric book and I'll I'm going to I have a box full of little you know the off cuts we use on everything and I think it's some of the laces are really really pretty so I think that'll be like a sample book and just have little flat pieces of laces you know no big embellishments and things like that in it I think it would just be nice and like a normal book you know and tell like a little story or something Okay, hope this didn't go too long and I hope you found it of some use. Have a lovely day everybody.